Well, a nonprofit that helps cities get ready for a boom in electric vehicle sales made a pit stop here in Eastern Carolina. Alyssa Hefner talked to the director who is driving from California all the way to Rhode Island while driving an electric vehicle. She joins us in Greenville with more details. Alyssa. 33 cities, 25 different states, and a 5,100 mile journey, all to make sure cities are ready for an electric vehicle filled streets. I've seen municipalities really see that although they might not be EV ready, they are ready to plan for it and they're ready to look at the different areas that they need to develop to start moving towards EV adoption. Daphne Dixon is the director of Live Green Network a nonprofit that helps cities prepare for growth in electric vehicle sales. She is making her second coast to coast road trip throughout the month of June. And then three, four, five, six, seven years, that's gonna be the main type of vehicle that if people wanna buy a new car, it's gonna be an electric vehicle. Dixon stopped here in the east to see how the area is doing. And while she said there has been a lot of progress, there's still work to do. For the site hosts to make sure that these chargers have cover because when you're out there, whether it's raining or it's, you're in the blazing sun, a lot of these charging stations are um, not, don't feel safe because if it's later in the evening and it's winter and it's dark, they're not really well lit. ECU officials say they're trying to get ahead of the curve. We've got plans um, to submit another application to try and get three more um, utilizing those grant funds. Um, but we, we definitely have plans to just continue installing electric vehicle charging stations. A North Carolina clean transportation specialist. So while they aren't quite meeting some of their charger goals, they're on their way. Uh, it's a lot of money that's, that's being uh, thrown at the situation. Um, and so it's, now it's just about getting the buy-in. Uh, but I think that uh, we'll, we'll get there in, in the next five to seven, ten years. Carwine says ECU did get some Volkswagen grants to purchase two electric vehicles, although he says those won't be built until 2024 due to the backlog. Reporting live in Greenville, Alyssa Abner, WITN News. All right, thanks, Alyssa. Dixon also says she was happy to see there's a fast charger in Kinston that helps her get to her next stop in less time.